Well, all right, friends, subscribers, and strangers. What's up, Bearded Picker? Um, Y'all notice the seats? Is there something different? Okay, so for those of you who don't know who haven't seen Instagram or the Tuesday morning show, the van was in a hit and run. We were parked on the side of the road, in eating in a restaurant, legally parked, even put the quarters in the machine so I wouldn't get a ticket, and some asshole backed into the side doing $2,500 of damage. Here's a picture. But this video is not about that. Let's talk about Amazon and eBay strategies. All right, so eBay and Amazon strategies. Um, I was mistaken, and it's, I don't, it's too early in the year for me to admit a mistake. <laughs> I am only have like one or two a year, so <laughs> to have one in February is awful. Um, not really a mistake. So what I want to talk to you about is when people ask me about fulfilled by merchant, I told them my answer was always, it was, uh, let's, let's go to Chick-fil-A. Let's go eat the Lord's chicken So uh, for lunch. So I was, I would always tell them that um, it's, it's about the same volume as eBay. Um, yeah, boy, was I wrong. I shipped 85 yesterday, uh, three Ebays, 82 Amazon. That's all merchant fulfilled in one day. Um, okay, I didn't have the van this morning, so this little car was filled to the gills with, uh, come on, buddy, uh, with, with boxes. And Johnny's like, how did you get all that in my little car? Uh, elf magic. That's what it was. It was elf magic. <laughs> so, yeah. I was wrong. You know, so if you've got items that are hot, if you got items that sell fast, um, fulfilled by merchant. Okay, so I don't know if anybody's even bothered to ask me. Hey, beer. They just assume. Why are you using fulfilled by merchant uh, instead of FBA? Don't you get a better price? Typically, you get a higher price FBA. But the problem is, is has anybody else noticed I'm trying not to hit the drive through has anybody else noticed that it takes a little longer now to get stuff in so you know where you'd have a normal back seven or eight days you could leave it could leave your house and come out of back order that's 12 days now 14 days and so what happens is is when you sell some of these items um amazon does their part and you know it's like it always is but if you're on a two-week pay cycle and you send it in it could be a month before you see this money. And so if you've got an item that's really hot and you want to flip over and over um, and you have the ability to ship from home, to ship a lot, um, if you haven't, I will insert a picture of the shipping station here. Um, and it, it does not have the bubble machine. I've got a mini packer that I ordered as well. Um, from Eric, I'm still going to open that sucker. Um, but the if you have the ability to, you know, it took me maybe three hours to do all those packages yesterday. It did not take a long time. And I had the computer going and I was talking to Steve and, and Phil about the, the reseller uh, gathering in Nashville this June. And so I was doing that and I was shipping and I still got all these out in a relatively decent amount of time. And so what I would tell you is if you have the ability to ship a lot and can meet their own time and all that stuff and you've got hot items, Think about fulfill by merchant. Think about turning that money over where instead of turning over, you know, once a month, you know, now you can turn it over each pay cycle. You know, last night I was shipping, my pay cycle ends between eight, nine o'clock on every other Tuesday. And so I got home at 6.30, uh, had wings with Harlan. That was a lot of fun um, for Fat Tuesday. And, and was able to ship for about 40 minutes before they cut it off. And so, so what does that do? Um, the stuff that I bought yesterday that sold yesterday that I got shipped before they reset and cut it off means I get paid Friday. Uh, so I ended up getting about $2,000 worth shipped out in that hour and a half period. Um, I was smart about it. I picked the most expensive items and I shipped them first so that I get the most bang for my buck. And then after it reset, I went ahead and went down and order like I always do. So 
have a system, have some thoughts about it, and then understand that, you know, don't be afraid to go, let's try it. Maybe I was wrong. And and so it was the volatility of the product that I, the last two products that I was very concerned about, price going up and down and getting in and getting out in a hurry. And the fastest way to get in and get out is to list it in the store. <laughs> Realize you don't have to take a picture on Amazon. So you can list it in the store. I'm selling some of these items before I get to the next door. It's been freaking amazing. So uh, I'm having... I've almost eclipsed my best month ever. My best month ever on Amazon was Christmas, December of 16. I did 93 in one month. That was my biggest month. I'm probably going to eclipse that in February. So that's how good a month it's been. I'm sorry about the videos not being more uh, the volume that you're used to, but you got to work. Whenever there's an opportunity like this one that I've never seen before that's literally like printing money on Amazon, and yes, there will be a video about it, and I will talk about all my adventures, but that's not today. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you some thoughts and just just challenge you to do things differently in your bit. Look at it from, you know, we always have these owner eyes. You know, we're trying to, you know, best most efficient way to, to do things, most cost effective way, and you know, we we do things out of habit. You know, I've been doing this six years. I mean, I hardly done any fulfilled by merchant, and now all of a sudden, I fulfilled. I have fulfilled this month alone. Okay, the last seven days, last number I saw last night was three hundred seventy-two packages in the last seven days. That's before I did eighty last night. So, it's a it can be a big number. Um, the money turnaround is immediate. Um, yes, you have to do the shipping. You know, I've got the tape machine. You've all seen it. I buy boxes. I've got plenty of boxes. And as I use the same boxes over and over, I bought more of the same ones, you know, anticipating. Like, I've got a trunk full of stuff right now. Um, Y'all can't see it? Sorry. <laughs> hey, that's the good thing about being in the car. This is Johnny's little Acura. Um, I don't have to hide or try to get the right angle, put my big stuff in front of it, make sure that that package right there, because hell, there ain't nothing. <laughs> but, here in a few minutes, they're going to be in the backseat because I'm going to be struggle busting. I'll hold this thing up. But really, understand understand the goal of your business is to make money, to make the most money, maximize your time. You know, I was always under the opinion that, that sending it in and being done with the FBA really maximized my time. But there's not a ton of time difference. By the time you prep all the stuff and then take it, whatever, to UPS, you know, I can already have it shipped and be pretty maybe it's a little bit more time but you know you're done your money's there it's much more an immediate feeling like the ebay which i like about ebay because when somebody buys something they drop in your paypal and then you send it so you're paid immediately and that is don't discount that fact of cash flow and understanding how cash flow works hey the phone didn't ring this time in the video but it did go beep 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 um cash flow is something we don't talk about in a lot of these videos, it's hard to teach, but it's it can actually kill you. So I got to order. That. So what I want, the, the final thought I wanted to, just to leave you with, and I generally I generally don't talk a lot about numbers. My goal this month is to break a hundred grand in one month on Amazon. I uh, always wanted to do that. I got so close once, and then whatever happened. <laughs> so uh, let's so let's understand that. Is it a coincidence? There's a great hot product. I actually found two. But is it a coincidence that I changed my process? I, I was willing to do something different in order to flip the money twice that I normally would have flipped in a one month period. And so I don't think we can, or at least I can, underestimate the fact that how much that contributed to, you know, I'm doubling, I've doubled the sales that I would normally do on a February and is it any coincidence that I got my money twice as fast and so I was able to flip twice as fast so understand the mechanics of the platforms and understand how you can use the entire platform to your advantage um, you know sometimes you just need to send a bunch of stuff in I've got a lot of Walgreens clearance I'll sell it this summer 
I have no desire to ship any of that. Um, it's paid for. It's gone. It's, it's in the building. Um, I have maybe 15 large boxes. I have a lot. And so this summer, at some point, when all you lowballers, and you know who you are, <laughs> uh, your business model is different. I'm, I'm not criticizing. You know, some people, you know, their, their, their return, they need to flip it faster, so they'll take a smaller return in order to get their money back and, and turn fat. That's, that's the way you can do things. But I purposely set this money aside knowing that in six months, I'd get a much greater return for the effort. And I carried on with something else. So it, that's just a business model. That's just your preference. Um, you know, we scream a lot about price droppers and this and that. And truly, prices, for the most part, is a function of market. And once you understand that when the demand is up, uh, the price generally goes with it because the supply dwindles. And as, as the supply chain catches up, uh, even if demand stays up, supply has recovered and price goes down. It's pretty easy, so we like to blame. Oh my God, they dropped the price. Whenever they're reacting to the market situation they're presented with, and they see, then another seller will see. Maybe I've got a hundred of these, and they're coming into stock everywhere, and the price is already falling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of mine now and get out now. And we accuse them of being a price dropper when they're just reacting to the market, and the market is generally what it does. So anyway, uh, it's a lot more fun to blame somebody else, right? That damn market, you can't blame him, right? But you can blame seller XYZ. <laughs> so, try things different. Try things, understand, really get a great overview of your business. And don't be afraid to go, what if I merge and fulfill this? You know, there's some stuff, we're having issues with price alerts on eBay, on Amazon, and restrictions. My brother was restricted on the product I'm sourcing after he sold a ton. And he took a couple days. And this morning he goes, man, look at the freaking prices on eBay. I'm, I haven't sold this much on eBay in months. And that's just today. So whether it's fulfilled by merchant or there's another platform, um, not taking no for an answer, trying things, always improvement, always learning. Um, you can do this. It's If it was easy, every freaking body would do it. Thank you very much. All right, so I wanted to leave you with the thoughts of you're in charge of your business, nobody else. Um, so act like a business owner and understand that that it's up to you. Don't accept no. Don't accept slow sales. Don't accept um, restrictions. These are just obstacles. You know, how are you going to overcome these for the benefit of your business? And once you once you get over the emotion and understand work towards a goal and and work 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 you'll be amazed how much you can get accomplished all right i'm cheering for you thanks for watching uh on your way out the door how about hitting the thumbs up i appreciate you if you've learned something if i've caused you to think about something that's all i wanted to do is come on here and just get you guys thinking of something different because i've had a mind change set a mindset change uh, somehow that uh, and I think it would benefit you guys to, to do a lot of the same same kind of analysis and thinking. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. I even got a roll tie hat now. Roll tie. <laughs> I bought this just for y'all to flea market.